This is the initial stage of the artwork by Pilbara artist based in Perth, Lois Olney, who is also a member of NTRWA, and it is to depict how the voice, in our opinion, should work. So, firstly, it uses the globally recognised symbol for healing which is the two serpents around a staff, in this case, a sphere. At the top, Lois has put a lotus as a, another global symbol. And um, the, um, so what it shows is the the three essential things in the voice are firstly, the voices, the speaking, and that happens here and um, goes up in various levels, right up to the top level of the voice. And that's where the essential part happens, the listening, right, or ears, right? And, um, but that's only half the process. The other half of the process is ears, sorry, and um, is, and the essential part is actions or hands. And that is the, the other serpent coming back down again to those grassroots communities where the first speaking happened that help creates the voice. And the, um, if there's no corresponding actions coming down Back to those grassroots communities, the voice is not going to address the gaps, and um, it can still be a good thing. It will enable First Nations people to be recognised in Australia's founding document, the Constitution. Um, in our opinion, the voice has far more potential than that. It's a, sim a methodology for healing, and not just blackfellas right across our country.